Yeah, hi friend, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a wildcard filter with a mu so We will directly start with a demo. So what basically wildcard filter do? So we will see in that the demo. So I will create file new. You will put I will say wild card. Okay, I will select run point run time as a mirror server 3.8. So you can select depending on your requirement, they can be multiple run time. So you can select whatever you want to. So under Maven setting, I will keep everything default. I am not going to change anything. I will say finish. So once you say finish, it will create an application for you. So first thing we need to drag and drop HTTP listener. I will click on the add button. Okay. So I will keep all settings as a default. I will not going to do any changes. I will say wide apart equals to allow method is post. Now I will drag and drop wild card filter. So let me drag and drop. In wildcard filter, I will give a pattern as a like the fox is clever. So it was saying like your message should start from the fox is clever. After that, it can be anything. Star. Okay. Let me drag and drop file connector. So I can, I want to first uh, create one folder under the source test resources. I will create one folder called out. So where we will going to save our output like uh, what, like if message is correct, it was validated by wildcard, then it will going to save it in the output out folder. Source test resources. I So next thing I want to catch exception. So I will drag and drop catch exception in the error handler. Next thing I have to set the payload. So basically, uh, let me set something. I say message doesn't does not match wildcard okay i will say i will run the application okay say okay okay so let me set my postman so we will use the postman to test the application so it was saying like the fox is Clever after that enter. And let's wait if application got okay. Application got deployed. So I will say send. See the message has been accepted 200 okay. Let me verify if a uh, message has been saved to the out folder. Yes, it has been saved. Okay, this was the you no know, correct flow. I will change something in the front. I will put something. So I will send it. Okay, this time let me refresh. See, so no file has been generated. What we can do? So if you want uh, something to start, uh, so I can put star in the front. I will save it. Okay, the application deployed again. I will just send. This time the message has been accepted again. The same message which was filled last time. What changes we have done? We have then like we have put the star in the front also. So let me refresh. It, it should create a second file. See. Okay, let me again go to wildcard. Uh, what I will say? Not star. In, uh, star 
in the front and then it will be like that. Uh, the message message should end with the fork this clever. In start there can be anything. So I will try to send this message. It will fail. It will not fail because oh sorry I haven't saved my application. Let me save and run it again. Okay now I will send it. See it should not create the third file. See no has nothing has been created. See like uh, what we have sent. They haven't created nothing. Okay, so we will try once again. We will refresh. Okay, so what we have done? A message should be end with the. But you know, like we are not getting the exception message. Whatever we have set and and as uh, we have set the message under the payload, we are not getting that. So I will going to show like you how to. Uh, trigger the exception uh, send okay this time message has been accepted see because our expression is like in start and there can be any value but at the end it could be the prop is a clever let's see we have third file okay now one more setting let me go to the uh, console not console let me go to the configuration file here what we have to do uh, there is something called message filter Mm, we have to drag and drop message filter. Okay, I will remove this file right? delete. Okay, I will go to message filter under the nested filter. I will say select the wildcard filter. If there is a wildcard filter available, see this is a wildcard. I will say next. So I will say in start, there can be anything. The message should be end with the box is. Clever. Okay, that's it. Now you can see one problem. Throw on unaccepted. Suppose the message failed, like it doesn't, you know, like according to our pattern. So it would throw the exception. It would call this case exception status. So check on this. Okay, that's you have to do. So basically, to call the to trigger the exception, you have to grab the uh, wildcard filter with the message filter. If you if you go to a configuration XML, you can see like wildcard filter has been wrapped with the message filter. Right. So let me save it and run. Uh, okay, let me wait. The application gets saved. Okay, I will delete everything from our folder. We don't require. Let me send some new message. Okay, this message has been successful. So I will say refresh. It has created one file. Now our regular expression is saying like uh, the fox is clever. It should message should end with fox. I put something. See now message doesn't match the wildcard. This time the exception has been triggered. Okay, so. So this is how you can use the wildcard filter with mule shop. So this is the one important thing when you want to call the exception. So you have to grab your wildcard filter with the message filter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.